Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. No bumper, we're going to get right into it. Artist number 95. I'm really enjoying counting these down. If you're watching these, I really appreciate it. 133 favorite artists. It's just where the list stopped. But it's also kind of top 100 plus 33 and a third, if you will. So uh, anyhow, it's ranking discographies. How much do I read about the artist? And what's my live experience? So yeah, I, I got a good one for you today, uh, a genre that I like. Now, let's be clear uh, about this. Um, I go forwards and backwards. So yes, I'm trying to stay hip with the 21st century, and I've done, you know, 400 videos on the 21st century. But I also go back to music from before I was born. To me, I can go both directions. And I like to explore the past as well. To me, it's just a long line. And then I get to hear all the influences. So this, we're going way back to, uh, I think his first recording was 1947. Yeah, and he lived to either 83 or 88 because there's conflicting um, birth certificate records and census records. And nobody's quite sure, but he was born in Tutwiler, Mississippi, near Clarksdale. And that's really uh, one of the heart places of, one of the heartlands of the Delta Blues. So we're talking about a blues musician. And one artist born around that uh, area was Sonny Boy Williamson too, which is probably my favorite harmonica player. But that's not who we're talking about today. We're talking about a great bluesman, John Lee Hooker. John Lee Hooker. Love him. Um, so have I seen John Lee Hooker? Yes, I have. Two times. Once in 1985 on a bill with Bonnie Raitt. And then I saw him in, that was in Phoenix. And then I saw him in 1999 Um at the Flea Festival in San Francisco on a bill with Van Morrison, Ben Harper, and Elvis Costello. So it was great. And what do I like about John Lee Hooker? Uh, I just like that primal feel. You know, sometimes he's only playing a couple notes. Really simple, but blues is all about the feeling. So if you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. I've got a link to the playlist below. I've got an 80 minute playlist of 24 John Lee Hooker songs. And I think it's a really great list. And then also I've got a Patreon link below. You can look at it, but let me show you what I've got here on my physical. So I've got two anthologies. I used to have the ultimate collection, but I sold it. And um, instead, I just uh, opted for this single CD, Rhino. This is a distillation of the ultimate collection. It's John Lee Hooker, the very best of. The very best of? Yeah, the very best of John Lee Hooker. Rhino, of course, is great. That's got everything from Boogie Chillin' on up to um, uh, a song he did with Roy Rogers. Not Roy Rogers, the cowboy, but Roy Rogers, the slide guitarist. Then I've got an anthology of his VJ material. So this is called uh, The Hook. The Hook. And uh, this is great because that was probably, well, I don't know. I like the modern recordings. That was a label, modern. And then I like his VJ recordings. This has dimples and boom boom on it. Then I have this really cool... CD. He did an album with Canned Heat in uh, like 71 or something like that. And it's Hooker and Heat. And you'll see that this is an original master recording. So very cool to have. I only paid $9 for it. It's probably worth a lot more now. But uh, yeah, the original master recordings are audio files. So the first CD has Canned Heat on the cover. And the second CD has um, John Lee on there. And yeah, it's just them uh, doing mostly songs that they'd already written. I don't think, I don't know if there are any originals. 
But um, yeah, Canned Heat was a great band. Uh, you know, white blues band, and they got together with John Lee Hooker and did this double CD, and it gets really great critical reviews. And then I have one of his later CDs, Don't Look Back. And this was produced by Van Morrison, except for the song Dimples, which was recorded by Los Lobos. But yeah, that North Mississippi Delta blues is just special. It's really simple. It's really stripped down. And there's such feeling. You know, ZZ Top, I'll close with this. They completely ripped off John Lee Hooker on um, the song Tush. So... That boogie, bum 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 bum. That's absolutely John Lee Hooker, and then the little growl that Billy Gibbons does, where he goes har 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 har. That's directly from John Lee Hooker. He should have got a songwriting credit on that, and his influence is just. And he is, by the way, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's in the Blues Hall of Fame. And he's won some uh, Grammys. So he has been recognized. So thanks for joining me on the channel. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.